Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. To those who are new, hi, hello, my name is Paula, and here in this channel, we talk all about perfumes. To my returning viewers, my subscribers, my regulars, my new subscribers, thank you so much for the continued love and support. To each and every one of you, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you a new fragrance that I added to my perfume collection, and it is a coffee fragrance. If you guys have been following me for the past few months, for the past few videos, you guys may have heard me talk about me in the search for a coffee fragrance. Or if you have noticed me commenting on other people's videos, you guys know that, again, I am in the search for a coffee fragrance to add to my perfume collection. I have added a lot of coffee fragrances to my collection. I once owned the only one by Dolce & Gabbana. I thought that one would have been like the coffee fragrance for me. That is your coffee and caramel, a little bit of a whipped cream in there like a sweet coffee kind of but it is more on the floral side there is something in that perfume there was something in that perfume that really bothered my nose i'm not so sure if it's the iris or the violet or the patchouli or something but that one i decluttered I also have Private Show by Britney Spears. That one is your iced coffee with lots of whipped cream and caramel, but that one is, again, mainly a floral fragrance. I also added Deluxe to my perfume collection, but that one is a rose prominent fragrance with a coffee note added in there. Very recently, I also added Cafe Tuberosa by Atelier Colognes. That one is like a straightforward coffee fragrance in the entrance, but then it settles and then it blends very well with the white floral. So it is not really a coffee fragrance. I also owned Sophia Love by Sophia Vergara. That one is has the coffee note, but it is more of a fruity floral fragrance than it is a coffee. So... I think it was in the end of January, I think the 31st of January, I saw a video by Zerzilla here on YouTube. I'm gonna be linking her channel and her video down below. And she entitled her video, The Best Coffee Perfume. Of course, I had to watch the video as I always do. And I had my pen and paper ready, I had my phone ready to search or research that fragrance. And she mentioned a very affordable fragrance from the house of Theodoros Calotinis, and it is a niche perfume house based in Crete. So this is Coffee Addict by Calotinis or Theodorus Calotinis. And this one is a very affordable fragrance, 27 euros. I think I paid for this one and the shipping wasn't really that much. And the import taxes and fees I paid for this one wasn't really as much compared to the other fragrances or even samples that I ordered before. So this one has your notes of coffee, it has your cacao, it has your caramel and your vanilla. This one, it's just a coffee fragrance. So when I first smelled this, I immediately imagined Copico. It is a coffee candy we had back home in the Philippines. I think Thailand also has that brand. It is like a coffee, coffee candy, like surrounding coffee. They have other um, products as well. It reminded me of that candy so much. And it just shows that this is a real coffee fragrance. So it is... As the notes say it is, it is your coffee, it has your caramel, it has your cacao and your vanilla. So it is basically your cafe latte. So I am very happy to add this one to my perfume collection. It is straight up coffee. I have been saying I really want to add a coffee fragrance to my collection. I know Teo Cabanel has a beautiful coffee fragrance. Emmy or Emmy's World of Fragrance have been talking about that one. And of course, Manahil or Perfume Realm and other people as well. But that one is way beyond my budget or like way... I can't even consider thinking about that. Thinking about it just puts a hole in my wallet. But this one was affordable and it does satiate my hunger for coffee. But the question is, do I really want to smell like coffee? So this one is just straight up coffee. Imagine getting a new cup of coffee, cafe latte. It has lots of vanilla, your pumps of vanilla and pumps of caramel in there, a little bit of milk, lots of cocoa and cocoa drizzle in it even. And this is what you smell. Or imagine when someone, or when you leave your cup of coffee with lots of cream and sugar, you leave it in your table and you smell it. This is the kind of fragrance, if you guys can imagine that, this is what you smell in this one. And it is what it says it is, a coffee addict, it is a coffee fragrance. You just smell coffee in this one. So I have been wearing this one, as I mentioned, as it is, not layering with other fragrances because I am not really into layering or combining fragrances. I don't have enough brain cells to think about that one. But this is very wearable 
and it's by itself and you're just gonna smell like coffee so you know i'm just gonna shut up right now i wanted a coffee fragrance i got a coffee fragrance it was a very affordable a very not a very expensive purchase even with the shipping and the import taxes so this is Coffee Addict by the house of Theodoro Scalatinis. If you guys are looking for a straightforward coffee sweet cacao fragrance, this one is it. I think, I'm not so sure, I'm going to put the price down below or on the screen. This one was 27 euros and they didn't even have a sale. I think that's just the original price. And this is actually a very great fragrance by itself, as a layering In terms fragrance. of longevity and projection, this one stays closer to the skin. It, it does project. Like you really do smell yourself in your clothes when you spray this one for the first 30 minutes to an hour because that coffee is really prominent. But as this dries down, you get more of the vanilla, more of the cacao. So it is like a gourmand fragrance, coffee, candy kind of a fragrance than it is like a real cup of coffee. Once that coffee note or that very prominent coffee accord settles down. So this is going to be like a caramel fragrance. So it is like a two in one. You get caramel, you get your vanilla, you get your sweetness in there. You get a little bit of chocolate powder or cacao powder and lots of coffee as well. So this is just an all in one fragrance to satiate your desire or your hunger for anything sweet, anything chocolatey and anything coffee. I love this one. Once again, I'm going to be linking Zerzilla's channel down below and her video. Please check that out as well. That is it for today's video. I finally found my coffee fragrance. Am I going to be looking for other coffee fragrances? For sure, because I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to, you know, I just love to discover new fragrances. And even if I have something that I've been looking for, I'm going to be trying other coffee fragrances as well. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much. If you liked today's video, don't forget to click the like button. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, don't forget to click the notification bell since it lets you know every time I put up a new content. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.